So here's a more realistic picture of the respiratory system inside of the human body. First, we're going to start off with our major primary pathway for the air, and that's called our nasal cavity. Now, the nasal cavity does three things to the air. One, it filters it with the nose hairs inside the nose. Two, it warms the air. And then three, it also moistens it with the mucous membrane inside of our nose. Our secondary pathway for air is our mouth, and we can breathe through our mouth if we need to. However, where the nasal cavity and the mouth cavity meet, that's called our pharynx. Pharynx is basically another word for the throat. That's where the air, the liquids, and, and solids that we eat all meet and mix together and move down on through. However, food and water and other liquids will go down through the esophagus into the digestive system, but air is going to pass through a different pathway. Once the air passes through the pharynx, we're going to come up to another structure, and this structure is called the larynx. And the larynx houses the vocal cords that we have in our bodies. So the larynx is also known as the voice box, or even more commonly known as the Adam's apple. So as you breathe air out, the air is going to vibrate your vocal cords, creating sound, which is your voice. Now when we're breathing air in, it's going to pass through the larynx with very little sound, and then end up in a tube called the trachea. The trachea is a tube made of cartilaginous rings that stays open, so this way air can constantly pass through. Let's take a closer look at the bronchi. So here's our trachea again, and as you can see, the trachea splits off into two parts. And the reason why it splits off into two parts is because we have two lungs. Now the bronchi tubes are going to then enter the lungs and then turn into smaller tubes called the bronchioles. So the air is going to go through the trachea, then through the bronchi, and then into the bronchioles. Now the bronchioles are going to continue to branch off inside of your lung until they start to form grape-like clusters called alveoli. And this is what the alveoli look like. So here's your bronchiole, and then it branches off into the alveoli structures here. The alveoli are the air sacs in which the air is going to sit. And, as you can tell, the alveoli are covered in capillaries. So this is the site of gas exchange. This is where the oxygen is picked up and the carbon dioxide is dropped off. So these are the parts of the respiratory system. Now let's take a look at the three steps of the respiration process in our bodies.